Admittedly, as a parent, I've made hundreds of boxes of mac and cheese. It's just an easy, simple, never fail go-to to get your kid to eat something. But what if I told you that a stovetop, a homemade stovetop mac and cheese is really pretty simple to make and it tastes so much better. So I'm gonna show you how to make a homemade stovetop mac and cheese using a blend of two cheeses and a few spices um, and we're only gonna dirty one pot. But first, if you haven't already, it would be awesome if you would click the subscribe button over there for me. I'd really appreciate it. So let's talk about our cheese for our mac and cheese. We're using two types of cheese. We're gonna use a New York sharp cheddar and we're also gonna use a Parmesan cheese. Don't buy the pre-shredded cheeses. Get a block of cheese and grate it yourself. It makes a big difference uh, in taste. It melts better. I think you'll notice a difference. Um, when you get your cheddar, make sure it's sharp. Don't get it mild. You really want the sharp, intense flavor here for the mac and cheese. We need four cups of cheddar cheese shredded and we need two thirds a cup of Parmesan cheese. Okay, so we have our cheese grated. That's four cups of the sharp cheddar and two thirds a cup of the Parmesan. That's the hardest work of this whole recipe. There's really no more prep work. Let's go over to the stove and start making our mac and cheese. Okay, we're gonna take a half a cup of butter. That's one stick. We're gonna melt it in a large pot here um, over medium high heat. Once the butter's melted, I'm gonna whisk in a half a cup of flour and then let this cook for about, yeah, maybe a minute or so. But I'm gonna stir, I'm gonna whisk constantly. After one minute, we're gonna put one cup of water in, slowly, gonna to continue to whisk. All right, so let's wait for this to thicken up. And once this mixture's thickened up, which will take no time, we're gonna add another two cups of water Now we're gonna add three cups of whole milk. Again, whisking the entire time. We're gonna leave this over medium high heat until it starts to simmer. But let's go ahead and add in a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of dried mustard, And the last thing we're gonna put in, a half a teaspoon of white pepper. All right, let's whisk really well. Let's get the simmer going here. All right, our sauce is at a simmer here. We're gonna add in one 16 ounce box of elbow macaroni. We're gonna stir it in as we pour. Let's make sure we stir frequently so that your pasta doesn't stick to the bottom of your pot. All right, we're gonna turn the heat down. We're gonna let it simmer. We're gonna stir frequently. We're gonna let it sit here for about eight to 10 minutes, okay? Now don't let your pasta overcook. You want it more of an al dente. This looks perfect. All right, we're gonna take it off the heat and then go stir in our cheese and then we're done. One more thing to do, we gotta add our cheese. Now remember, we have our freshly grated cheese. We have four cups of sharp cheddar and two thirds a cup of Parmesan cheese. So we're just gonna dump it in and we're gonna stir until all the cheese is melted. This looks so good. If you want to experiment with your mac and cheese, you totally can. This can be your base. You can add in mushrooms, add in buffalo chicken, whatever, flavor your mac and cheese, however you want. All right, time for a taste test. Look at that. I'm gonna make a mess, it doesn't matter. And that's my stovetop mac and cheese. If you're looking for the recipe, it's in the description of the video. If you like the video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up down below. And even better, click the subscribe button right over here. This is definitely gonna go on my comfort food favorites playlist, which you can watch right here. I'm going to go enjoy this and I will see you guys next time.